Basics of Economy and Overview of Indian Economy An economy is a system of organizations and institutions that facilitate and play an important role in the production and distribution of goods and services in a society. In any economy, resources are limited and wants are unlimited. In order to cater to the demand for unlimited wants, the biggest challenge is to allocate the resource effectively and utilize the resource efficiently. Economics is the study of how people in a system allocate scarce resources for the purpose of production, distribution, and consumption, both individually and collectively. Two major types of economics are Microeconomics focuses on the behavior of individual consumers and producers, and macroeconomics examines the overall economies on a regional, national, or international scale. Microeconomics It is the study of economics at an the individual, group, or company level. It emphasizes on issues that affect individuals and companies. Studying the supply and demand for a specific product, the production that an individual or business is capable of, or the effects of. Regulations on business. Macroeconomics. It is the study of a national economy as a whole. It focuses on issues that affect the economy as a whole and include unemployment rates, the gross domestic product GDP of an economy, and the effects of exports and Imports. Two School of Economics. Classical School. The classical school is regarded as the first school of economic thought that is propounded by Adam Smith. The principal idea behind the classical school was that the market performs best when they are left alone. There is nothing or very little role for government in the classical school of economics. It highlighted the concept of laissez faire non-interference by the government. The theory suggests that the invisible hand of market forces will bring a state of equilibrium in the economy, the state of equilibrium and general well-being to the countrymen. Keynesian School of Thought John Maynard Keynes questioned the classical school of thought. He questioned the very principles of laissez-faire and the nature of the invisible hand. He believed that the invisible hand brings equilibrium to the economy but by strangulating the poor. Keynes suggested strong government intervention in the economy. He believed in the welfare-based approach.